Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we got ourselves the Boomerang, one of the greatest items that you will find here on Koholint Island. In And we also made it here to South Face Shrine, where we learned that quite possibly this entire island is but a dream of the windfish, an illusion. In this episode, we are going to be heading to the North Face Shrine to hopefully get some answers. So let's not waste any more time. Let's take out these Armos that are in our way and get some of our arrows back that we lost fighting that Armos Knight in the dungeon. Or mini dungeon, I should say, because I hardly doubt three rooms counts as a dungeon. So this brings forth a lot of questions. Not just is this a dream of the Windfish, but what will happen to everything once the Windfish wakes up. And the only one who knows is the Windfish himself, meaning that we can't exactly ask the Windfish what is going to happen, because we need to kind of wake him up to do that. So, this arises a lot of questions and brings forth... I don't know, I just, I've always enjoyed this whole feeling, because I feel like that when everyone learns of that detail, that this island may be but a dream, I feel like everybody has their own opinions about it, and that it calls forth for a lot of, you know theories to form in a player's mind and things like that, and that really is the mark of a good game to me, a game that makes you think about life and just what's going to happen to this world. The windfish slumbers long, the hero's life gone. And owl statues like that kind of only further those questions because the things they say is very mysterious. As you saw right there, uh, when using the boomerang on that enemy, that's called the Mad Bomber, I was, I collected something, you didn't really get to see what it was. Uh, defeating those with your boomerang will result in them dropping a fairy. So, that is a very, very good use of the boomerang, is that you can get fairies from Mad Bombers if you want to do that. On top of that, we head over this way, speaking of fairies. Uh, can I throw this? There we There's a cave right here. Let's go ahead and enter it really quick before we go to the North Face Shrine. But I figured it was, oh no, never mind, I'm... Thinking to the wrong place. Take your wounds, get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. So no, we have a fairy fountain here. Um, wow. For wanting full health, I sure couldn't have asked for this at a better, at a better time. Now, eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that my health was inconsistent, and on top of that, that I also had different stuff equipped when I went in there. Um, reason for that being is that I actually filmed that earlier than I meant to, so I kind of had to, like, insert the footage there. It just, like, I didn't want to, like, have, like, a disjointed thing. I found it earlier thinking that it was something else, and I accidentally went in there, so... Bit of a mistake, and I admit to it, so that's why that seemed kind of awkward. Um, let's go ahead and go up here. We have another Armos right here. They take the same number of hits, though, despite the fact that they might look a little different. And let's take you guys out. Good. Swim on through. And what we want to do is we just want to hookshot our way across here. And the stairs will take us, wouldn't you know it, to the Northern Face Shrine. Let's insert the key. Let's see if we can't find some answers to what's going on here on Koholint. In we go. Level 6, Face Shrine. One of my favorite dungeon themes in Link's Awakening. I love this song, and I know you guys love to hear me gushing about music, so yeah, you'll be hearing about that. Oh, uh, and I went over there, you might have seen some elephant statues. Those are some of the um, more important things in this dungeon. A lot of the dungeon is going to revolve around those statues. Uh, right here we have new enemies, Wizrobes. Um, these are somewhat staples of the Zelda series. Hitting them with your boomerang will do what it does in other Zelda games, where it just merely stuns them, allowing you to follow up with another attack. Uh, whiz robes are jerks, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think anybody likes fighting whiz robes, and anybody who's played Zelda 1 hates them with a passion. They don't really go down in much of a straightforward way. Your arrows can harm them, and I believe so can your hookshot. Let me see if the hookshot actually does. No, it does not, it just stuns them. Your sword will not do anything to them. However, your arrows will. However, they take multiple hits to bring down, and they're just all around a pain in the ass. I believe, alternatively, you can use bombs should you want to, or bomb arrows if you really, really wanted to get crazy with using up all your resources against them. But, yeah, there's not really too much of a straightforward way to taking these guys out. Um, I personally use my bombs, because uh, it only takes one hit, and if you stun them with a boomerang, you can very easily detonate the bomb on top of them without having to worry about them teleporting out of the way of it. Killing off all the wizards will open up this door over here, and that will get you a chest containing... 
50 rupees! Now, the really sucky thing is, is that this elephant statue in the way I can't do anything about right now, and I'm gonna need to come back into this room later, and if I'm not mistaken, the wizard was respawn. I kinda wanted to show you that really quick, but just letting you know that when playing you through this right now, you might not want to do that. I kinda just wanted to knock that out early just to kinda show what that chest is early on. You might also notice these patterns on the floor right here. Um, these are also a big mechanic in this dungeon. You're gonna want to, um, kind of just pay attention to them. You can follow them along and do different things as you're following them along. Um, let's see if I can call the enemies in here to open up that door. I believe there's one other enemy. Is there? Am I not mistaken? Am I not mistaken? Is there one more enemy in here? Please? Please? Okay, I guess not. Um, let's go ahead and use our bomb right here. Because when we're following this path on the ground, it's leading into a wall. What else is there to do, really? Let's go ahead and use our magic powder for the first time in quite a while. I'm actually running kind of low on magic powder. I hope I don't run out. That would really, really suck if I did. Uh, lighting up this room doesn't do much, really. It just kind of maybe makes it easier to see if you have trouble with that. What you mainly want to do is take out all the enemies, which will cause the staircase to appear, and which know it. Side-scrolling section interrupting our awesome music. I like the music so much in the North and South Face Shrines, just so, so much. But unfortunately, you don't really get to hear them much. Let's avoid that walking seizure pig nose, as I always call it. <laughs> okay, no. It's not really called that. Um, I'd like to get full health, please. Okay, there. And I lost it as soon as I got it. Wonderful. Let's go out of the way. Okay. Let's avoid him. Go up, hop up, there we go. Okay. Now, you might notice, yeah. We're gonna need to go back and press that switch. I was actually wrong. I was taking a bit of a gamble on which position the switch needed to be in and I was wrong. To go that way and have the switch pressed, you wanna throw a bomb right there, be on the other side of it when it explodes, and there you go. So now you can go that way and have the switch pressed at the same time. That switch is going to be an area that you're going back to a lot, especially if you're like me and you tend to forget what position the switch needs to be in to do what. So, this dungeon can be a bit time-consuming. We're talking... I would say that even though we've had two water-themed dungeons already, this is most like the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time, where you're having to do quite a bit of backtracking back to like the same areas to change things to be able to move on. So, let's take you out. And I want to get rid of those whiz robes. I'm going to see if I can knock them out in a single bomb usage. That's my goal. Okay, let's throw down the bomb. And good, okay. So I took out both of them. You can also knock them near each other if you want to use less bombs. The sword's useful for that. And we get ourselves the dungeon item right here. We have the more powerful bracelet. Wow, what an awkward name for such a good item. Now you can almost lift a whale. Not quite lift a whale, we can almost lift a whale. <laughs> Yeah, the more powerful bracelet, and they say, you can almost lift a whale. It's such a such a killjoy. Uh, we get ourselves a fairy right there, which is kind of nice. But uh, the level 2 power bracelet is what I'm going to be referring to it as. You can now lift these elephant statues. So that is what I was talking about when I meant the main mechanic of the dungeon. It's also what I meant by the fact that we wouldn't really be getting a new item anytime soon besides the boomerang. So we're going to go through here. And that brings us full circle. Unfortunately, I do not yet have the map for this dungeon, so I can't really show that for you. That's one thing that I've noticed is, um, about Link's Awakening. I've noticed that the black and white version would give you the dungeon map sooner, but it would typically give you, like, the stone, the stone tablet or Owl's Beak in this version later. So that just is kind of something that I noticed. But, um, if you were curious about that, if you swear, if you're playing along with the black and white version, your treasure chest drops are not the same as mine. Uh, that's why my treasure chest contents are different than yours, because, well, you get different items in the black and white version. Uh, can I throw this at the switch? Okay. Let me go ahead and pull out my bombs once again, just so I can take care of this. And let's go through here. Okay. So, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. We got the dungeon item really, really early. <laughs> Was no problem at all. Uh, let me pull out my arrows. Let me also pull out my rocks feather, because I really want some more arrows. And Oh, God, whiz robes. Um, should you want to, you can hit that with your arrows. Those blocks that stand up do not harm you in any way from using your arrows, so you don't have to worry about that. If you're not at full health, you can get at full health by doing that. Let me go ahead and pull out my sword to fire off my sword beams. Keep firing your beams. I believe I just referenced that, of all things. And we can't get to this right here, so I think that door is a no-no for the time being. 
We can open this and we get ourselves the stone beak when we haven't seen a single owl statue yet. Which kind of surprises me now that I say it like that, that we haven't had a single owl statue yet. Uh, what I want to do is, I want to hit that with an arrow. Go over here, and let's see what is under these pots. I believe one of them is going to contain a switch for us. Please do so. Please. We got bombs right there, so that was helpful, at least. Okay, I guess we just have to... Yeah, we have to throw it at the door, so that's how they do it. They don't use a switch, they just make you throw it at the door. My memory is a little spotty with the later parts of Link's Awakening. Please forgive me. I promise that my runs are not going to be, you know... Well, I can't really promise they're not painful to watch because I'm not you, so I don't know. We get the compass. Now we can see where the chest and nightmare here in Nightmare are hidden. Ugh. Come on. I don't know. I don't need to know what a compass does. Come on. Stop telling me. Okay. And because I'm just that cool, I'm going to hit this with a sword beam. <laughs> I get the feeling that's a bad move and that I should have left that switch alone, but we'll see. Let me go ahead and grab that bomb. Or those bombs, I should say. Down there! That's a mechanic that many people hate. I don't see what the big deal is. We'll get more into that later. And sure enough, I think I made the right decision here. And oh god, was freaking Okay. Let me hit you. There we go. And let's bomb the two of you together. I like taking them out with bombs because you can take out multiple ones at the same time with a single bomb usage. There we go. That drops the key. I'm going to avoid the anti-fairy. And was that actually the first key that we've collected in this dungeon? Dang. Um, dungeon item, compass, and stone beak. All before getting the first small key. Talk about a weird dungeon. Let's uh, hit this once again to reverse the uh, switches back to the way they were. Just so that we can return. Actually, no. I don't want to do that. I want to hit that. I'm going to go back into this room. And I want to throw an elephant statue at that door to get the chest that we can quite clearly see in there. And I also don't like how you can kind of walk on top of the elephant statue. Uh, that mechanic that I was saying that everyone hates, we're actually getting into it right now. We get ourselves 100 rupees from that chest, not that money even matters anymore. And we're going to throw these very odd-looking things. First time I saw them, I was like, what is it? Like a sock with like a chain on it is like a cool-looking charm? Throwing them, we can see that they are actually knights in chess. You need to throw them, and you have to make them both face up at the same time. Typically giving them all the distance they can to move, uh, giving them as much distance as you can to throw, like so they don't bump into a wall, is the way to go with them, if you were curious at all. Um, let me go ahead and hit that again, actually, I didn't, didn't want to hit that quite yet. Uh, let's hit that while we're up here and go into the door. Check it out. This is a bit of foreshadowing to another area. We'll go get more into this later. For the time being, we can get a chest right here that contains a whole 20 rupees. Joy! No, not really. And it feels the need to tell us what dungeon we're in upon re-entering, of course. So, we're gonna do that. I will hit this switch again for the hell of it, and I will throw these things again. So, there's not really much else for us to do here, so how about I meet you guys back in an earlier room of the dungeon where there is something for us to do, because we're going to be backtracking quite a bit here, back to the early areas. Alright, so in this room, you might have noticed something very chilling. You have a room with three, three whiz robes that I never killed off. And even worse than that, you might have noticed that, well, there is a chest in this room as indicated by our compass. So, for that reason... We are going to want to take out these whiz robes because really, what else is there for us to do? Let's stun you guys again. Let's stun you. Let's not do that. Let's push you up near the others. Oh, God. This could get bad here. Let's hit you. Let's hit you. Let's hit you up. Let's hit you up. And okay. I think I... I know I didn't get all three of them. Come on. Hit the last one. There. 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 Okay. Good. No. I still haven't hit the last one. Okay, there. Bomb time! Go! Boom! All three of them dead in a single swoop. Oh my god, that felt good. Uh, I'll bomb the switch. I won't use another arrow. Let's go. And get this! We got ourselves, at last, the dungeon map! So, I guess I could have gotten this sooner, but at the same time, I don't really have much trouble finding the items that I need. So now we can see the full layout of the face shrine. You might notice that it looks a bit like a mask with horns on it. Hmm... Make of that what you will. Okay, no, it's not really foreshadowing Majora's Mask. I highly doubt that plants for Majora's Mask were even in place at the time. 
but I just thought I would show that, and I need to flip the switch to make it back. Be back. Be back in just a moment. <laughs> okay, back we are. So, in this room with this uh, Shy Guy Mimic, or I know it's not really his name, I just always call him a Shy Guy and his official name is Mimic. Uh, I want to throw that Elephant Statue at this area that we couldn't go into before, because now we can go into it with the ability to throw the Elephant Statues. We got ourselves a bunch of hearts right there, and we got ourselves a chest containing a hundred useless rupees. I... Money just, like I said, is not that useful. But every Zelda game has got a time where you're just getting loads of money and you need none of it for anything. Um, of course, I actually didn't need to come back in here with the wizard rope, so I was actually wrong about that. I did the right thing, so that's always a good thing, is whenever you make a mistake, having it be a good mistake. So you were actually in the right. Anyway, though, uh, we are back here in the main hub of the Face Shrine, and we have explored all of the first half of the Face Shrine. Well, except for half of the nose, because no one cares about it. Anyway... Next time on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we will be exploring the other half of the Face Shrine. See you guys then.